Okay, I invite uh, Dr. Anna Lipoli. Thank you, Elizabeth. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm happy to see that there are a few faithful gentlemen here as well. Um, I'm extremely happy and uh, honored to address you here at this very successful European Gender Summit in the, in the premises of the European Parliament. So I think that, that this is a very important milestone uh, uh, for, for this uh, for this topic. As we all know and acknowledge, excellence, relevance and impact are key words in research and innovation. We cannot properly advance in any of these without advancing also on gender equality, both in research content and on how research is performed. This is not only an issue of equal treatment of, of people, but this is also an issue of economic growth in order to help us to get out of this crisis where we are right now onto a sustainable economic and social path. The, the Commission uh, has adopted uh, this summer in July a communication which is about a reinforced uh, a European Research Area Partnership for Excellence and Growth. And it is not a coincidence that the name of this communication emphasizes excellence and growth because they belong together. Uh, this communication is a, repeat, uh, a response to the repeated calls of uh, uh, the European Council to achieve the European Research Area by uh, uh, 2014. European Council are our masters, the Prime Ministers, so this is something we have to listen carefully, so we have to do it. In the time of uh, scarce public resources, the ERA communication uh, shows how we can do more with less, because this is what we, what we have to do to come over the crisis. We need more effective, more open and more competitive national research systems. This will offer the best conditions to increase research performance and excellence, and thus uh, to fully capitalize uh, on European scientific, Europe's scientific and creative potential, which is indeed very great. And promoting gender equality uh, is, is part of this uh, um, uh, goal. Uh, promoting gender equality in research means pursuing three objectives in parallel. First of all, improving gender balance in decision making. And you can see there are women here. Involving more women in as scientists at all levels of decision making and research performing and integrating uh, the gender dimension in research content. I don't have to tell you that these are important, you know that, but I, I just want to tell you that we have also recognized the importance of these issues in the Commission. Our, all, our, all, our overall policy focus uh, has during the last times shifted uh, from empowering the women in research to, to fixing the institutions because fixing the institutions is the key to change. In other words, uh, we are aiming um, for a change in culture, and uh, we are aiming uh, uh, at a, a modernization of universities and research institutes, and their human uh, resources management, their funding, and their decision-making processes, so that gender equality is better taken into account on the mainstreaming principle everywhere. The ERA communication uh, bets on smarter, sharper and much more focused approach that identifies not only clear actions and targets, but also says uh, who should take the ownership and, and uh, implement the actions proposed. Of course, our member states uh, uh, remain the major drivers for change. By making the necessary, necessary reforms uh, at national levels, uh, they have the power to remove most of the barriers to the achievement of the European research area in general and uh, gender equal, equality as, as part of uh, the era. It is therefore necessary that the member states commit themselves to implement the key actions in the era communication. And of course we have to follow uh, up the process. We have to know what is happening, uh, or if anything is happening. So this is why we have to put in place a robust monitoring mechanism and create a baseline where we are now when we, when we start this reinforced partnership. 
Um, the ERA communication uh, will be followed uh, by a Commission recommendation on gender equality to Member States, and the Commission is uh, preparing this document right now. We will propose uh, common guidelines on measures which are needed in order to achieve gender equality in universities and research institutions. And it is our aim that this document will be concrete enough so that the Member States can see indeed what they should be doing. But this is not enough. Uh, there are issues for which the research stakeholders themselves, such as research funding councils, universities and other research performing organizations, have the power to implement uh, themselves. On the day of the adoption of the ERA communication in July, our Commissioner, Mrs. Moira Kekankin, uh, also signed a joint statement and memorandum of understanding uh, with the European uh, organizations which represent uh, universities and other research performing organizations as well as funding agencies. And these organizations I think you know well, European University Association, uh, uh, League of European Research Universities, LERU, uh, EARTO, which is the uh, umbrella organization for European um, uh, research uh, uh, and technology organizations, Science Europe, uh, which is for research funders in Europe, and NURFOS, which is a, a body uh, funding uh, uh, research um, on a Nordic level uh, from a common pot. So these organizations uh, have committed themselves to implement a number of specific uh, actions. And one of the actions, which is on every uh, document, is about gender equality through institutional changes. So keep your eyes peeled also. On, on how this is proceeding. Um, these documents are on our web page, uh, so you find them there and you can look and look at them. In addition to this, Science Europe also committed itself to, to review and revise its 2008 a roadmap, uh, which is called A Vision on a Globally Competitive Era and Roadmap for Actions. And of course, uh, gender uh, uh, is, is part of this document as well. So I think that this is a very promising start for a more um, systematic approach uh, by everybody. The Commission's proposal on Horizon 2020 includes a provision on the, uh, on the commitment to effectively promote gender equality and integration of the gender dimension in research and innovation content. This Article 15 is the first in the history of European framework programs of this kind. It aims at reinforcing action on gender equality across the different parts of Horizon 2020. Horizon 2020 will be Europe's biggest ever funding program for research and innovation, and I hope that this, this, this will be true also after the, um, uh, the decisions by our heads of states and governments, but I'm optimistic. So I hope that uh, alongside this program, um, the approach uh, to gender will be very influential. Uh, next year, also the first ever ERANET on gender will be launched. Um, the objective of this ERANET will be to set up uh, the cooperation and coordination of actions and initiatives which are carried out uh, at uh, national or regional level. These actions should pr uh, promote both gender equality and the integration of, of the gender dimension in, in the content. It may also open new ways uh, uh, to uh, strong EU initiatives on gender equality. So I think that we all agree that uh, by helping women to reach their full potential in science, technology and innovation, we include them and their ideas uh, in enhancing growth in Europe and creating more jobs and better society. So of course this is the message we want to convey. Gender is not just about, about human rights. This is really uh, a key uh, to growth and jobs in Europe. So given the very high level of speakers and the wide participation in this summit, I'm, con I'm confident that this will lead into fruitful discussions and concrete ideas on how to move forward on the implementation of, of the measures which will make the gender equality a reality in Europe finally, because the progress has been too slow, so we have to accelerate. I really hope that we can do this uh, together, and we will meet in one or two years' time and see that we have made a difference. Thank you.